Hey, Tyler Theater Design Company. So this will be our first Tech Tuesday, so week number one. And what we're gonna do, as you probably saw on the intro, is we're gonna build a star ceiling. Uh, most of this is a recycled video from a previous uh, install of our demo room. And so what I'm gonna do is go over with uh, the previous video, I'm gonna highlight the parts we use, a couple of the tools we use, and then a time lapse of us actually assembling the complete star ceiling from scratch, including wrapping the panels, putting the fiber through, and a finished product. So hope you like the video. Um, please subscribe. Please give us some comments on some other tech tips or tech videos you'd like to see. Thanks a bunch. Uh, so first, we're using the uh, Epic Sky, um, and we use Epic Sky exclusively for our star kits and most of our RGB lighting. Um, to highlight on this, we're using two of their star modules, each with 256 fibers. Um, the nice thing about it, it's, it's serial controllable, and it actually wires up using Cat5 wire, Cat6 wire. Uh, so we've got uh, Cat6 wire going up to the ceiling to run these. And uh, I'm going to scroll down here. We're basically using the third-party control system um, solution minus the Wi-Fi interface. Um, and again, we have two of these, so we're running the Epic Link out to the star module. And then the second thing we have in here is a shooting star, which just clips over with, a uh, again, another Cat5 wire and third-party control. So you can see that's done. And if anybody's interested, I could give you a full diagram of how we have this wired up. Uh, the second part of the uh, system is we uh, use the insulation board from Knopf. We're using their six pound, which is their more dense stuff, pretty much this one here in the image. Um, and we've cut those to size and then we build a wood frame around these so we can have a nice crisp edge. I know a lot of guys and gals just build this without using it and it just if you drop it you hit the panel too hard it puts a dent in it and you can see it in the final product and then last we're using uh, our typical Anchorage Guilford Domain fabric in onyx color okay so most of this will be a time lapse but as you can see on the kit we've mounted our shooting star kit to the ceiling in an alcove. We've mounted our fiber module one in the same alcove. These get looped up with cat six. And then our third module, our second fiber module is in the alcove number two. And so I wanted to give you a highlight on those. And then what I wanted to show here because I didn't go over this is we actually frame our NOF panels in with a one inch by three quarter inch material. And you'll see why on the time lapse. This helps us wrap the fabric panel glue and then wrap it and staple it. So it gives us a nice, clean, crisp edge, and we can actually screw through that as well. So time lapse showing a little covered panel, and I wanted to highlight this is the staple gun we use. It's from Amazon. It's a Sure Bonder, and it's amazing. It's the best one you can get for this period. I've tried 20 different staple guns. And then as far as staples go, I use the BC Eagle staples again from Amazon and they just work. We've probably shot, I don't know, hundred boxes through that staple gun and it's still working. I just did a job last week and uh, went through a half box, no problem. So again, here's time lapse. I'm not gonna narrate too much. I pop up some uh, text on this and again, hope you like the video. Thanks a bunch.
Okay, so here's the star ceiling on. We've got it set for every 10 seconds for there to be a shooting star. So we should see that any second. There it goes. Trying to get down here and see what we can do for this. There's a shooting star again. I'll try to do it with the lights dimmed down. I don't think it's gonna be possible. Not too bad, you can see the shooting star again. So this ceiling here has 256 LED, or excuse me, fiber optic points uh, times two. So there's literally two exact panels. I think that's what, 512 fiber optic stars. And then the shooting star, if I recall, is somewhere between 100 or 150 individual fiber optic points. Let's see if I can get up on this shooting star for a close up. Okay, so a little bit different view. So this is with our RGB lighting set to blue. So you can see the shooting star. And then what we try to do, and it's extremely difficult, but we were going for super crisp, sharp lines with our RGBW lighting. So that lighting is actually in a Cluse aluminum channel with a frosted, um, basically no LED spot, like a spotless diffuser. And then we've added that trim detail to let the RGBW lighting shine on it. And what it's given us is a super crisp, basically LED line. It's it's color changing. I'll do it. I'll put it in color changing mode so you can see some other stuff happen. But uh, overall, we're extremely pleased with how it looks.